Hello and welcome to Game Development Projects with Godot 3.1. Now I am Alex Horatio, as this slide would have you believe. I've actually spent like forever messing around in games, basically that's the only consistent thing through my life. And I've spent about three years messing around with the Godot engine, which is my favourite of the tools I've come across. I've also contributed to this engine a few times, and I run a YouTube channel wherein I frequently mention things happening with this engine, maybe little tutorials here and there, just, you know, good old stuff. So without further ado, let's get on to the actual overview bit of this video. So what is actually in this course? Well, you can think of this arrow as being half of the entire course, the next half is on the next slide. So, we have section 1, building a top-down 2D game called Super Displacement. Now, Super Displacement is actually the first game which I created, one of the first in the Godot engine. We're going to be remaking it, we're going to be learning about light coding in GDScript, physics body nodes, collision, creating enemies, objectives, config files, UI nodes, a lot of stuff crammed into one section. It shouldn't be overwhelming, it's taken video by video. The idea is for this one to be easy and good for beginners. Section 2 is building a more in-depth 2D game called The Floor is Lava. So this is going to be more of an investigation of the physics engine, more score counting, discussion of game feel, tile maps, spawning things. It's cool. Now I'm going to be honest, this is still pretty easy, there's nothing surprising or that out there to get to grips with, it's more just getting a feel for the engine. It does cover more features, which is important, as we move on to the second half of the course. So section 3 is going to be like stuff on custom classes, signals, singletons. Section 4 is going to be the 3D side of things, so it's going to involve exploring the 3D engine, importing stuff from Blender, world environments, complicated stuff. Here's my nice 3D arrow to represent the fact that the course is now in the third dimension. In this bit, lame joke, sorry. So really what this course is meant to do is provide for you a jumping off point, somewhere that you can move forward from after you've completed it. So ideally, it should give you the bare minimum that you need to be able to learn on your own. I realized when I was first starting out with the Godot engine, it was tough to get into it. But once I got into it, suddenly it was very easy to learn about more and more features of the engine because it's all very modular design. It's designed to be easy, incorporate new features. It's an open source project. It kind of has to be. <laughs> So first, let's discuss the prerequisites for the course. I guess the most important thing would be just a little bit of programming knowledge because I'm not going to go into like the control flow and how it works line by line too much. If you don't have much programming experience, it should still be okay. I think C++ would be good if you understood, you know, sort of object-oriented design. Not essential, I guess. Python would be probably the best one to know because that one is most syntactically similar. So probably the most skills will be transferable, but Godot does have its own sort of GD script language designed to be very easy to pick up, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. 